Hey everybody, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna be talking about Selena the series, part two. Now, part two does have nine episodes. You can currently find it on Netflix. They're all about half an hour to 40 minutes long. It's honestly a really, really easy binge watch. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a spoiler review, but I really don't see it being spoil review just because I feel like we all know Selena <laughs> at this point. So you pretty much know the biggest uh, parts of her life. Now in part one, it definitely was more of the Quintanilla family, more of who they were, how it is that they got to where they got to that certain part in their lives. And I know a lot of people had a lot of issues that, you know, that's, this is supposed to be Selena, the series, not, you know, the, about the family. But you have to take in account that Selena was a very, very family oriented a person so you really can't have her without her family because they really were always all together especially in the earlier years you know they were always touring so people you know having a cow because we are focusing on the family and not just her i really didn't quite understand it i will go ahead and address uh another thing that i don't think i addressed in the first part uh christian Sharantos who plays um selena i don't mind her as selena there's actually a video of ab going on to defend the actress talking about she's doing a great job and she does he doesn't understand why people are like being so ugly towards her and you know he thinks that selena would be proud so just kind of take that in account in case you are like selena's number one fan and you know hardcore that ab the brother is okay with this actress she gets so much hate and i'm like dude like she's doing such a great job now for those who did have a problem with the first one focusing a lot on the family you'll be happy to know that this really is the selena show so we do get the wedding here we get the grammys we get the opening of the boutique we get um her crossover to the english album her struggles actually with marriage which is one of the things that i really didn't know about her was you know for there for for a moment the, uh chris and selena did have a little rough patch but i do like how they showcase like the struggles and the stress and like all this workload that Selena had and it wasn't all oh we're gonna open up a boutique and then it's just like a nice little cute little montage or the next thing you know it's like oh yeah this is the boutique and like like as if nothing you know bad happened in between like there was no construction electrical you know like all the things that actually go wrong with like everybody right just because it's Selena it wouldn't magically go wrong I mean you see like all that stress level and everything that she had to put into you know opening up her boutique and also we get um her doing her clothing line here as well so I mean she literally like was doing everything because she said dad I have many dreams but of course this is where we get introduced to Yolanda that heifer every time she came on I kept giving her the evil eye I don't know how creepy or like she really was well, i mean obviously she was pretty you know because she murdered her right i mean i knew she was a fan like a big fan of hers i knew that she was running the the fan club fan club one of the things that she did not really focus a lot on which i didn't like okay you know what actually let me get to that here in a bit you know my ADD just kind of keeps going everywhere um so they made her look super like creepy weird kind of like stalkerish and like i remember like i know i said don't compare it to like the movie but i'm gonna compare it to the movie here real quickly i don't remember yolanda in the movie being as creepy and stuff like she was more friendlier and like normal over there but like they really put her as like yeah i'm like obsessed with selena like you have like a freaking shrine and everything and she looked i mean you guys like uh, back to this other thing was what I was gonna say that they don't actually focus on the friendship that Selena and Yolanda actually had like they were like best friends if you did not know the story of Selena I never would have gotten that they were actually friends like from the show they just make it seem like this is an employee of mine now in the first part i didn't have a problem with jesse posey who is the one that plays chris um i really felt the love for selena in the movie he really didn't say much there but i didn't have a problem with him in this particular part i'm just like mm, no i just wasn't really here for that actor i he was kind of the same here like the mom was like the mom still didn't do much here either she still got on my nerves i'm like why are you even here i mean i get it you're there 
part of the family but like why are you here like i wish they had given these characters more to do now we also get a nice a little beyonce moment after i saw that i went on youtube and i saw it obviously at first i didn't know who it was until they said her name now of course the series itself it's not a perfect series i did have a lot of problems with it um one of the biggest things was probably the green screen effect whenever they were like in a car i think that was the only time that i really noticed it was when they were driving just jump in here really quick and ask you to please give this video a big like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet I am trying to hit 400 subscribers before the end of May because it is my birthday month. That would be an awesome, awesome, awesome birthday present if you can help me hit that goal. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Now we're going to go ahead and get towards the last part of the thing, which, which I, oh, actually, let me go ahead and say that that's another part that I didn't really like was the ending wall, her death, that they kind of rush through it. it was like oh it's here it's happening like okay let's move on which i get i get because again the family you know so that it's an, ex it's an executive producer of the show and i understand them not wanting to have to relive these moments i told selena i told her girl don't you go into that hotel room she didn't listen to me you guys she didn't oh either way it goes i cried i cried so much i did not think i was gonna cry i felt like so tense in here and i'm just like oh my god now once all that happens we do jump forward a few years and i'm just like are we gonna talk about the cumbia kids and i go cumbia kids are like on a tour bus and it said cumbia kids i said oh my god so they do uh well that's really all they, they show is just them being on the tour bus i think i went more as a recap than an actual review for the series i do apologize for that that may not be exactly what you were looking for here but that's what you're gonna get here overall i really truly enjoy selena the series as a whole i do of course prefer part two a little bit more we do again get a little bit more of selena within this part but i did not have an issue with the first one i think like i said it's important to have that little part of it and like i said also selena is very family oriented and you know this is a family business so of course they're gonna be on together you know some people are just not really here for it but you know what whatever nobody can ever be pleased with anything you know let's just kind of appreciate what we do have we have the movie from um the 90s with jennifer lopez now we have this series that kind of goes a little bit more into who she is and and what she fully accomplished if you've seen selena the series let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you which part did you prefer part one or part two what is your favorite selena song let me know in the comment section down below and of course until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye